There's a rumour floating around the internet right now that booster packs in Pokemon TCG Pocket with bent corners are guaranteed to contain rare cards, or at least have better than average odds. When you open a booster pack, you get to choose from a rotating carousel of boosters arranged in a circle, and some packs have bent corners, just like how real packaging has small imperfections. There's also a small chance for the boosters to be facing backwards. It's no surprise the community were quick to notice these differences, and after a few lucky pulls, some players theorise that the bent corner or backwards packs are better than others. So, we took it upon ourselves to put the theory to the test. I opened 107 booster packs and recorded how many rares I got. My colleague Adam opened 100 booster packs and recorded his odds as well. Here's what we found. Adam opened 33 Mewtwo packs, 33 Charizard packs, and 34 Pikachu packs to keep things roughly even. Of the 100 times Adam opened a pack, he only saw a pack with a bent corner 67 times. Of those 67 bent corner packs, 31 contained a rare card. Of the 33 packs without bent corners, 11 had rare cards. This means 46.2% of the bent corner packs had a rare card, whereas only 33% of the regular packs had rares. You might think this suggests bent corner packs have better odds, but my data showed otherwise. I didn't choose the corner when I opened my 107 Mewtwo packs and 45 of them had rares. That puts my odds squarely in the middle of Adam's and adds weight to the idea that choosing a pack on the carousel makes zero difference to the cards you get. I also looked at the data from other content creators online who are testing the odds as well and their results are similar. The bent corner packs don't seem to have better odds. I'll link a few examples in the description. And honestly, it makes sense. When you choose to open 10 packs at once, you skip the carousel for all of them. It really wouldn't make sense that opening lots of packs simultaneously would decrease your odds of getting rare cards. All things considered, we're confident it's just a rumour and nothing more. It's like when we used to think we'd get better odds of catching Pokemon in the old school Game Boy games by spamming A after you throw a Pokeball. So don't bother wasting time by spinning the carousel before you open a pack. And if you can open more than 10 packs at a time, you might as well just do it to save time. There's no downside. If you found this guide helpful, you can help us out by liking the video and subscribing to our channel, Pure Game Guides. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.